Nintendo Switchers. Tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. And today, man, do I have a great review for you guys. I spent a whole month, a month, dedicated to Titan's Quest. Now I'm going to give you a hands-on review of this one, because there's a lot to show in this game, and there's a lot of hidden gems in this game that are not being shown. I'm not just going to stand here and wave games in front of you and tell you how good they are. Let's play this, let's look at it, and let's see what hidden gems lie in Titan's Quest. And is it worth $29.99 on Amazon? Let's find out. Discover the courage that turns heroes into legends. From the Age of Empires co-creator Brian Sullivan and Braveheart writer Randall Wallace comes an innovative action role-playing game set in ancient Greece, Egypt, and Asia. The Titans have escaped their eternal prison, wreaking havoc upon the earth. The gods seek a hero who can turn the tide in an epic struggle that will determine the fate of both men and and gods. Explore the ancient world and unlock arcane mysteries. Conquer monsters, legends, and mythical beasts. Build and customize your characters with 28 classes and over 1,000 items. Challenge others on a fast action 2 to 6 player online co-op multiplayer. So is this, is this game really worth 30 bucks? So I'm going to show you my character that I've been building. There he is, right there. That's the character I've been building. Now, I'm going to take you through a little tour of what the game's like. It reminds me of Diablo itself on its own. The soul setup and the uh, tower portals. Unlimited portal system. Uh, loading's not that bad. Loading between... Um... So here I am in Mount Olympus. I'm in Mount Olympus. And this is a really tough area to um, to get through. I mean, you're constantly uh, taking po potions are free. Uh, you know, they're not free. Uh, town portals are free. But I mean, you're battling. I got zero potions. So I'm down to no potions now, guys. All right, let's get out of here. So I'm going to take you back to the beginning of the game and kind of show you, spoiler alert, that was the beginning. So these are all the different um, places here. So let's go back to Athens. Let's go back to the starting location here. So let me explain this to you. This whole first part, uh, it's not even Act 1, it's just the first part of the game uh, in, in Greece. I thought that was the whole game because it was so long to get through. And then there's another part and another part, and, and it's just, it's phenomenal. The length of this game is just huge. And I think it is a lot longer than Diablo. So you start off here, okay? You got your, this guy here. Okay, before we even start anything, let's get to here. Let me introduce you to this part here. This is your skills window. I think there's... Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different uh, classes you could pick. And then these are the skills that you ramp up. So I went with Warfare, uh, Dual Wields, right? So you put your skill talents into here, and it gives you different abilities uh, depending on what builds you want to go with, right? So I went with the Dual Wield, No Shield, uh, Warrior Class, All Damage, no holds bars. There's a lot of other ones like mage type um, over here. You'll see. So you got uh, defense. You got nature. You got ruins. You got hunting. You, the hunter is amazing with the double with the double um, double crossbow. You got rogues. You got spirit warriors. You got earth warriors. You got dream warriors, and you got storm warriors. And they're all awesome. So that's that, okay? Now let me go back and show you. This is the map window. 
you could zoom it out and you could see where to go here with the right uh, analog stick. But the game is just enormous. Um, let's get to here. This does nothing. That's just help window. Here's the character window. This is this is you right trigger here, and this takes you over to your unused skills. I've been putting everything into strength and a little bit into uh, um, health to get my, my health up. I notice I lose a lot of health fast if my armor isn't that good. Now, this is my, my guy here. I got a lot of... Uh, I, I made this. This is... Um, a lesser artifact that you add to yourself that you have to make. You have to collect a pile of stuff to make this. And this one gives me fire damage, burn damage, um, dexterity, and it gives me health energy, and it gives me plus 9 energy. This is uh, my um, my chest protector. There's one of my, um, my left, my right hand, a couple of rings. And all of it attributes to my mastery as much as possible, right? So you're going to find all kinds of stuff. And the baggage, you get more bags as you go along in the game. Every time you start a new area, like major area, uh, you get bags. These are the ruins that I've been collecting and completing. So if you have two of these, I'll give you an example. I have I have two of these here, right? So I'm going to click on this and see if it fits on anything, and it doesn't. I'm going to click on this ruin here and see if it goes anywhere. It doesn't. So it's only for specific artifacts, okay? Now, with this guy, let me show you... Oh, let me finish here just to finish what I got here. There's your town portal, which you have unlimited. There's your quest window. So, according to this, I'm on quest 3, act 3. But let, And then there's a pile of side quests here. Oh, yeah. Those are the side quests, sorry. And then there's the main quests here you got to complete. But here's the problem with this. It doesn't look like much, but it's a lot. It's a lot of traveling. It's a lot of walking. I'll hold your things for you. Okay, so this guy hold. This is your caravan guy. I wanted to show this to you guys. Okay, let me make sure I'm done here. Portal and skill assignment window. This is just for here. If you want to... Like, I got my trumpet here, my wall here, and then left, right, so I could pick wh where I want them. That's all it is, okay? So let me go back here to my guy. This traveler guy is always in every major city. He holds stuff for me, and if you go like this, he allows you to actually uh, act, uh, transfer items um, to other characters you may have, which is really cool. And you got your 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 guys here that you purchase potions from and armor and stuff like that. You have your well here where you get uh, healed and stuff. The game is just so long. So let's leave town here. Let me show you my map and show you where I am. This is the beginning of the game. So there's a lot of walking and exploring and, and, and also farming to do to collect those relics. Those relics are a lot of work to collect. So I'm going to take you through little bits and parts of the game to kind of show you the landscape. And the, the frame rate's pretty good. It does bug up sometimes when you open a chest where you got to kind of move your analog sticks around a bit to free up the guy so he's not stuck in stance. So, you can get off the path. You can get off the beaten path if you really want to. I don't. I do when I'm playing, like, full-blown, kind of, like, going through the whole game. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually... Um, I'm hacksawing, um, how do you say it? Hacksawing through this thing real quick, just to show you guys. You could go off the beaten path. Like I said, look, there's, there's, look, look, there's different places to check out. And it's a lot of walking in this game. Woo! Look, you go off this path here if you want. I'm not sure if it's left or right. I gotta go at that fork. Go anywhere you want. These guys drop stuff you need. And hide boar is really good too. There it is. Boar hide. Really good stuff to use. So I'm heading north here, I guess. So these are just... I'm just in woods right now. So let's move out. Let's go to another area in the uh, map. So I can show you guys what the game looks like. 
I'm going to be... You get the Sparta. You, you, I'm going to be comparing this to Diablo and bang for your buck what you get more of and what more what you get more game out of. I played both games. I already reviewed Diablo on this channel. So I'm going to get it I'm going to get it out for you guys and show you guys how it's played and stuff. So here's another place. I'm in the desert. You got to head this way. I remember this place really well. And there's stories you follow. Lots of stories and side quests. So it's this way I got to go. So I'm one-shotting this only because then pick up stuff like the open chests. So now I'm in the Pinella Valley. These are all real places in Greece. They're not made up. There's no smoking in this area because you'll start a huge forest fire, this dry grass. Get him! Get him! The Minotaur. I need more boar hide. Boar hide's good for shielding uh, your armor. Alright, let's go somewhere else. And I like the unlimited town portal, just like Diablo. Diablo 3 got unlimited town portals, which is fine. Uh, I want to go to Delphi, a big city here. Let's go over to Delphi. I'll show you what that looks like. There's a lot of dungeons and caves and catacombs and all kinds of stuff in this game. So I'm in Delphi. There's a few major quests here. This is the guy here that, that creates... Okay, I'll, I'll explain to you what he creates. Let me see if I have something in my... Uh, this guy unmutes stuff. And what he does is he unmutes... Stuff that you have socketed that you want to keep. So there's the altar of creation right there. The altar of creation is you put this those envelopes. I'll show you what the envelope looks like if I have one on me. See, I don't have an... It's, it's a sealed envelope. And what the sealed envelope does is you lay it there and it tells you what other relics you need to complete to make one of these things right here. See my thumb? Right there. You get to make one of those things that you add. There's your typical... This is a merchant more for um, wizards and, and, and priests and stuff. He's got more arcane stuff here. he got all kinds of rings and scrolls and stuff you could use. The graphics are amazing. Look at this. So, I'm going to leave Delphi right now. Look at that statue. Oh, you could zoom in too, right right into the game. I forgot to show you that. Sorry. It's beautiful here. Oh, this guy lets you reset your talent tree. This talent tree that you uh, mastery, you could actually reset it with him, and you got to pay per, per reset. And this is the way to go to the next area, so you got to walk a long way here. You think you weren't you weren't gonna see any spiders? Oh, I got a green piece. the The rarities go from like uh, silver, gold, green, the mythic mythic green color. Oh, there's another gold a gold item. I just take it and sell it back for money, because you do have to save money for things. So I'm in the Prasanna's foothills now. It's all barren here, dead trees. This is Spider City here. There's a lot of caverns in here, spider caverns. So this is basically a little walk in the park I'm having here. Nothing major. All right, let's go back to... Okay, let's go to let's go to Athens. A lot of architecture here in this game too. That's why I like it so much. Is you're actually in real world architecture, real world surroundings, which is pretty cool. And you brush up on a bit of history with this too, believe it or not. So here it is, Athens, biggest one of the biggest cities.
huge city if you look over to the side there. Cities being invaded. I'm just using the basic attack. I could use something a little bit more stronger. <laughs> Excuse me. Now well, the game is just never ending. Mini Medusas here, I think. These are... Get out of Athens. Okay, let's head over to Egypt. Egypt's a lot of fun because you see the pyramids and you see the great Sphinx. You see everything. You see everything. Come on, baby. It's loading right there. Here it goes. Oh, look at the architecture. It's so beautiful in Egypt. It is amazing in Egypt. This is when you arrive by boat, right? Your caravan comes with you so you could uh, hold things for you. And you're running through cities here. It's phenomenal. Obelisks everywhere. Let's go. I love the music too. It's very Egyptian style music. Let's move out. Let's go to the... Let's go to Giza. I want to show you guys Giza. The game's probably wondering, what am I doing and why am I floating around the game like this so much? Why am I not in one area? Here it is. And what's that behind me? Pyramids. All of them are here. All the great pyramids are here. Oh, sorry, I just saved the game there for a sec. I have to get out of this thing here. Oh, no. Let me get to the pyramid so I can show you guys. A lot of sarcophaguses here. Here's a pyramid here. Let me zoom. Oh, I can't zoom out. I just drank a potion. I'm already fully zoomed out. All the pyramids are here. You go in the pyramids, by the way, and you search them and loot them. These things give you bonus perks, like in Diablo, same thing, same idea. Lots of walking. Look at the beautiful graphics in this. Look at look at it. The realistic look. Look at these open sarcophagus, like uh, sorry, burial ch tomb chambers here. Ooh, I got a, a green item. I got an amulet too. It looks like. Wow, there's some good finds here. So I could go into my person here and see what I got. Oh, was this? Was it this? No. No. This guy, Bacillus of Fire, 50 to 70 damage. Kind of weak for what I have. But, it, oh, I love. All right, let's go to. So that's uh, Egypt. It's got all the pyramids. Oh, and my favorite. 
I'll show you my favorite. Oh, I'll show you my favorite. The Great Wall of China. You end up in Babylonia and then you end up in China. So you're basically moving east from Greece is what you're doing. You're heading east and you're moving solid east. So you got to get to the Great Wall. It's a little bit up this way. Let me see if I'm going the right way. Nope, I got to go this way. Let me buy some potions from this guy because I will die here. This is a really tough area. I buy these potions because they're greater. I love the Chinese uh, ancient architecture there. It's beautiful. So I need to get myself to the Great Wall here. It's up this way. Look at that, I'm almost dead, guys. I'm trying to load myself with potions here. But potions are timed, they refresh. Wow, almost died there. Uh oh, you can't run, guys. Like in some games, you can't run. You gotta kind of stay on them, or they will chase you down and they will kill you. Ugh. Just keep unlocking more and more enemy. I completely avoided that route to avoid these guys, and I'm going right back into it. Gameplay is really good. It's it's got a good feel to it. Controls have a good feel to it. It does hang up once in a while, guys. Don't panic if it does. Oh, dragons. This is a semi-tough area to pass, so... If I die here, guys, please don't make fun of me. Let me get back into my shield here. I've got a little shield up there. Oh, I got another green item. Another green item, too. Wow. This must have been a good idea to go back here. I want to get to the Great Wall and show you guys. There it is. A couple of quests there to complete. Uh, see, it hung up here, see? It hangs up sometimes. It's just something you got to deal with. And, it'll, and it, sometimes it chases down one guy that you're not close to. Right here, it's hung up. See? I can't move. So what I usually do is just push all the buttons. Right there. It happens once in a while. You just have to get used to it. Now here's the Great Wall. It's amazing. So you walk the entire Great Wall is what you do. You walk here for a long time. See, it hung up here, see? Okay, if you're hung up, guys, I'll show you what to do. You go here, you open a town portal, and then it you could go. It's kind of weird. And then once you pass all that, I like this. I'll show you this town. It's in China. It's really cool. Let 
This palace. I love this place. This palace is awesome, man. Oops. Yeah, let's get out of here before we get killed. This town, yeah. The city's really cool. I love the architecture. Really nice. It's a huge maze. I'll show you the map. It's huge. And then you get outside here. It's another huge maze out here. But like I said, the game is massive to show everything. And then now I'm on Mount Olympus. I'm at, I think it's the last act. The game is still going. I'm very surprised how big this game is. Uh, here, I'm here. Olympus. And it's not easy, guys. I'm getting my butt handed to me here. I might have to go back and grind out a few levels to get to the next level. It's got some really nice audio to it, too. I like it very much. There it is. I'm in Mount Olympus. But it's really tough. This area is not an easy area. The bosses are pretty tough in this game, too, so you got to watch out. Just get used to dying because that's going to happen a lot. Well, guys, there you have it. My review, my take, and my experience. What a great game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.